Welcome back to Transport Fever 2, everybody. And as I remained in the previous episode, I owed you some ride-along footage of our new cargo line. Yes, we have built a cargo line in the previous episode that will be supplying food to Olathe by train and then horse cart, and I ended up not showing it to you. Sorry about that. I hope that this glorious footage of the new Baldwin together with our horse and cart will deliver on the promise. Yes, it does look awesome. All right, so clearly I don't think that this uh, train has delivered pretty much anything at the moment, mainly because it, um, yeah, it is the first run and usually on the first run it delivers nothing. Go figure. However, I think that uh, at least the, the views are epic enough to show. So, and then this horse and cart will be waiting here indefinitely. But I'm trying to figure out what Prytel is this train waiting for? Is it supposed to be bypassing something? Ha! Oh, yes! Is it the Captain Clyde? Oh, in which case I'm gonna make a glorious side-by-side -side footage. Oh, and this will be the, the title for the episode for sure. Come on, Captain Clyde. Shug along, you magnificent beastie. Yeah, I can tell by the rust rivets. Look at it. Yep. Fantastic. Beautiful. Now, with that being said, no, it's not Captain Clyde, it's Train 3. Oh well. And I guess the moment that the Train 3 passes this mark I'm expecting that the next train will start let's see if we're correct see it went along beautiful there we go oh and I've just noticed I have beautiful tracks layout I should do that more often yeah, well, here's another magnificent view of the train passing by on what seems to be this roller coaster thingy. I don't know, there's something soothing in watching trains. And I kind of do like the music. So, off you trot, back to work. There it goes. Climbs like a goat. Right. Okay. Enough dilly dallying. Now, a Rancho Cucamonga. We have. How many passengers we have here waiting? 31, and you are bringing 34 people. Okay, so you just need some modernization, and I think I kind of promised Captain Clyde that we, he'll be upgraded. Oh no, I did it. No, that's train four. Never mind. Sorry, Clyde. Oh, and looks magnificent. Look at that beastie. Iron horse for the win. Now, but where's my Captain Clyde then? Is this? Oh, here we are. Manage vehicle, Captain Clyde. Let's see, how much money would it take to replace you with something more flashy? One, two, three, four, four million. Uh, whoops. Hmm. Uh, we'll just call you fashionable. Old and fashionable. Look at this. It's a romance of the days gone by. Yes. 
which is another way to say I'm broke. Sorry about that, Captain Clive. I guess we'll have to wait for the next episode. In the meantime, you get a chance to, walk at the, to look at this magnificent new Baldwin with clear story vehicles passing by. Wishfully thinking that it will become... That's what you, how you will look in the next episode. Yeah, I kind of hope so too, buddy. All right. <laughs> that being said, I have to figure out our next endeavor. And it should be the one that is making us money. Hopefully. Uh, speaking of making money is... Are you loaded now, sunshine? What? Three pieces of bread? What the hell is that? Then Ola food. Yes. Line. That's the vehicle manager, silly. No. Then Ola food. You come here to Denton Central and what? Wait for the full load. Obviously. Maximum waiting time. I don't know. 10 minutes. Don't just go trotting off here doing nothing. And I think... What's your ca production capacity? Maximum. Alright, then I guess I need to upgrade the second train. Which is the one... Shugging this. Ah! Yeah, you might need an overhaul. Do we agree? Okay, everybody. Does this one get the vote or we're gonna put it in a museum? think so. All right, let's see if we can upgrade you, Sunshine, at least. So, upgrade. Obviously, Baldwin uh, with how many gondolas? Three, five, six, like 56 capacity, 2.6 million. Can I actually go to up to 2.6 million? See? I cannot even do that. I got 1.4 million in the bank. Dang it. Come on, trains. Net me some cash, please. How about if I put you on afterburners? I just somebody need to deliver 1 million in cash. That doesn't sound too dangerous now, does it? 1.8. Come on, we're almost there. Afterburners. 1.6. Come on, one train coming and doing the cha-ching. 1.9. Do I hear two? Do I hear two? Going once. Going twice. Two million. And I will almost... I, I, I had it there. I had it. I reacted too slow. Damn my fingers. Come on. I'm almost click spamming it. Will I have a chance to replace it? Come on. Make a delivery. 1.8, 1.8. Looking up for more, otherwise that other train line won't pay out. Come on. Done. Sold. Look at him go. Oh yes. Oh yes. And I'm now thinking, going through all that magnificent grass, and I'm hoping that you will pick up a full load. Yes, now we're talking. Okay, that load is 56, right? All right, and you are now going maximum production, but measly transportation. Yeah. Can this be further modified? Like adding another two carts, gondolas. No, 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 I didn't want to replace with everything. I still wanted to have a Baldwin. No, I don't want it to replace. I just want to modify it. Right. Edit. Yes. Add one. Why? Modify for 200. Okie doke. So. Afterburners, and we're gonna modify it for 400 large 
if I manage to get a successful delivery, that is. There we go. Yes, now you're officially the lo one of the longest trains that I know and have. And you should be delivering cash. You have the capacity of 63. Might as well, you know, upgrade you a little bit, Sunshine. So you have nine. How many of you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine as well. So nine each. All right. In that case, I think we have upgraded up to our capacity. Now let's see if it will pick up everything. Sorry, I'm a little bit big on these optimizations because that's where the money comes from. And I figured it'd be a an episode of train watching. However, I want to see how my distribution chain works, so... There we go. Now let's see if you can actually hold your water. Oh yes. Oh yes. Much better. And how is the transport? 49%. See? I knew you had it in ya. What about you? How full are you now? 23 out of 28. Okay, get a move on. I will of course be adding, you know, cars to the trains, but now that we are running some at least, you know, shipments, the contention of multiple vehicles is very poor. Technicalities. Which multiple vehicles? Train 2? No, it's in perfect condition. I just wonder if it will deliver enough supplies that we can actually supply something with food over there. And you're waiting for a passenger train coming from... Yeah, that's it. Oh, three trains. Three trains. Wait for it. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Right. That being said, I hope that the other train will leave soon because I really want to see the distribution chain set in motion. Am I aware that I'm stalling? The thought has occurred to me. However, I'm really eager to see like Olathe exchange up close. Where is the... Oh, the train is somewhere crossing the horizon. Yeah, I see it. Right, so when, once we optimize this chain, it should be making a plentiful of cash for us. Just look at that horse and cart, patiently waiting for a train that might never come. Oh, that's depressing. Now, uh, let's see. We can actually use to repay some of the hard-earned cash that we have gotten. Look, nice. And as soon as that train makes that delivery, we will have horse and cart waiting for to make another round. Here it comes. Let's see how much cash will it make us. Now all that excitement for a hundred bucks. That would be fun. 200 large. And look at those. Supplies are being filled. And our horse and carts are already eager to get stuff delivered to the eagerly hungry citizens of Olathe. Right. Now, that being said. Okay, 
let's discuss. So we have Rancho Cucamonga Farm and this drop-off point going to Olathe. Should there be one going to Charleston, I wonder? It is quite a way away. So maybe it would almost be better that it's dropped off by rail. However, Charleston train station isn't one of the world's best. A layer shows where the emissions are high. Emissions? Vehicle can stop urban growth. You don't say. We have them right on the money. Yeah. Okay, we're blocking growth in those cities. Anybody has anything against that? No. Okay, fair enough. Here we go. Event to report. I thought I'd remember having somewhere an additional port. I guess maybe I was just wrong. So we have Ventura port and we have Charleston port. What I would like to be connecting is something further out, like this Fargo historic or San Jose and everything else over there. Hmm. San Jose perhaps? Okay, let's see, just quickly examine. How about that we modify you and when we build a large dock, small landing, passenger, large dock. Where do I cram it? Uh, can I put it somewhere like Ooh, look at this. It's not ugly in the slightest. Yeah, half a million for something that looks this terrible. I'm sorry for that money. It would need to make me lunch. Yeah, and will it be served correctly? Honestly, I have no idea. But I will have only a few passengers like the ones riding the mighty Bemble. Hmm. Am I ready to throw the amount throw down that amount of money? No, not yet. Um cargo. Oh sorry, passenger. Yes. What are the commercial, passenger, industrial? Sure. And when it comes to these, that means that the passenger traffic will be occurring from uh, this section. So somewhere along the, these lines, perhaps? That's 200 large. Splendid. Now, uh, large street. If we don't have any streets, we'll make some of our streets now. Sure. And now let's just hook up that one up, up there. Too much slope. I kind of didn't see that one coming. So how do we build it? Too much slope, too much slope. One building will be removed, you don't say. Too much slope, so how about we do something like this. Two buildings will be removed. One building, how about zero buildings? Yeah, doable. That's but ugly, by the way, but okay. I guess I'll live. And there we go. Beautiful waterfront seaside property. How about connecting it this way? For maximum enjoyment and road connections? Yes. Now, uh, buildings. Bus station. I wonder what kind of bus will it have? 
So uh, let's just swipe that around ish. Nope, on that side. Uh, it doesn't seem to be collaborating here. Then I'll have to go for the small stop somewhere here. There we go. And then we have to make a commuter line. RG, I really wired that one nicely, huh? So, uh, street, what about you? Connect somewhere here. That will be fine. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful connections everywhere. Now, buildings, bus tram stop. I want to be picking up people from here. Um, do I want to be picking up people from then? I guess here. So it would be a thir circular three stopper for that kind of people. And then I will have one going from here, say here. It will be a two, two way traffic and then going all the way here where it will be a turning point. There we go. No, no, I don't want you to remove a building. And you just built. Well, that's just rude. How about we make it like Nia? Too much curvature, too much curvature collision. Go with it. Perfect. So, I want to be making a line. You, Sunshine, will be making a new line. You're starting here. Then you're going this direction. You're gonna drop people off by the harbor, which is Chestnut Street. This is on the wrong side of the street, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I'll just tweak line one, I'm sorry. There we go. And then we build another roadside building over here ish kinda line line that was still line one after the chestnut street you shall be going here here and then you're gonna take the lakeview street again in this direction and then you're gonna go to the farco center halt yeah so that's one it would be essentially what's the name of the town chief fargo fair enough we call it fargo commuters fargo no it's like far commuters and now we need to buy the vehicles buildings that I'll just put a depot somewhere close by ideally that it doesn't cost me an arm and a leg somewhere like here for example and then I buy vehicles I'm gonna buy like six American stagecoaches and I'll assign them all to the van van Bar commuters. Off you go. Now, those, I need another shipping line. New line, and I'll make it this sporty yellow. Click stations to add Fargo Historic Port to Ventura Port. There we go. Perfect. And uh, this will be far then. It will be far Ventura. 
Now the question is, do I really want a big dock here? No. We'll do it regular style. If the traffic picks up, we'll institute larger. So, Ventura Shipyard, you are gonna buy me... Well, not a Donara as much as I would like it. We will go with standard Wilhelm, I guess. One. You, Sunshine, shall be going to Farben Tour. And we need to rename him. So... Let me see quickly. I'm gonna call him Groundworks Ship Dan Peterson. I hope that's pronounced correctly, Dan. Dan is one of my patrons, which is, for those of you that don't know, well, Patreon is the website where you can actually donate a small portion of your hard-earned cash to keep me going and do stuff that I really enjoy doing. So, yes, and for each of my amazing patrons, I'm renaming my vehicles, my ships, and other characters for them, besides giving some bonus content in addition as of lately. So, there we go. If you're interested to check out my Patreon, I will be posting the link in the comments or in the description of this video. Let's go and enjoy the maiden voyage of Groundworks ships Dan Peterson. By the way, Dan, if you're watching this, I'm going to check out your name spelling and I'm going to correct it off commentary just to be on the safe side. There we go. Beautiful. And look at this vista. Amazing, isn't it? And look even at the captain. He is really... Oh, he has cramps. Uh-oh. Yep. He has cramps, all right. Probably from holding this big stick. I mean, yeah. I know it's called rudder. Sure. However, he seemed a little bit cramped. Maybe he would need to go to have a nice little relaxing massage. Look at him. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh, look. Where has the money gone? Money goes when you're having fun. Beautiful. This will probably give me enough cash to go on my next escapade. I'm gonna kick on a little bit more afterburners. After all, we don't want to see the GWS Dan Peterson coming into the port. And come on, guys. I will be taking bets. Will there be passengers going on this line by the time the ship gets there? Post it in the comments below. Quickly now before we come to the port. You only have about half an hour before guessing it right. Yes. No, I'm kidding. But um, yeah, this little bit industrial building section over there is place where we will be going. So I'm really curious to see. Will there be passengers or... Oh, there's a storm coming. And look, the ducks are flying in an erratic row. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be a doozy. And for those of you that are watching the dates, obviously, it takes roughly a three months on the round trip time for my beloved ships to make it, but God, I love them. Again, thunder. Oh, this doesn't bode well. Let's hope that the autosave. Yeah, it's just flipping it. I mean, seriously? Now, let's see. Will we have passengers? My bets are on at least 10 of them. Also, it pretty much depends if the coaches were able to deliver some passengers onto the onto the dockyard because Ooh, Frontenac and the Mogul. Frontenac vehicle. And the Mogul. Mogul is usually, as far as I remember, the 260 has been a very powerful uh, cargo locomotive. So, 
food plank, plank pack, blah, blah, plenty of power for hauling freight, so that might very well be the case. Let's see. Okay, and we see the dockyards. Soon we will have the moment of truth. Will we have passengers or only seagulls? Okay, I'm gonna ease off the afterburners a little to keep the suspense going. The dock area seems very tidy. Oh well, man, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Maybe it just needs time to grow on you. After all, it's a new destination and there are some steep slopes to be contended with, but the main important question, do we see passengers? And we don't. <laughs> well, good thing that I didn't Argo Historic Port. All right, yeah. Drum roll, please, so. Zero passengers, quite literally. And one lost soul who was waiting for the bus here. Or maybe it was a just person who actually missed the next ship. Let's see on the other side. Is anybody waiting to ride this particular line? That would be a hell no. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm pretty sure we'll have to take care of it and take a look at it in the next episode while we review the Max Bamble. Look at him. He's carrying all sorts of goodies. Could he be re upgraded? What is the Frontignac? Aha! I'm gonna do it. Hey, Max Bamble. How are you feeling, buddy? Look at that. Oh, it's narrow, all right. It's a luxury liner, that is. And with the Luxury Liner inside, I'm gonna leave it here. So thank you very much for watching. Like if you like the episode and subscribe for more. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Gromfrox signing off.